You know, I expected this video to manage to leave my collective thought a lot sooner, but a lot of time was prepped for me to just be okay with telling you fellow Yomi worshippers this. If you aren't aware, or if it's your first time really looking into my non chill place friendships, Woken was my best friend, and one of the most considerate and reasonable people I'd ever met in my whole life. But, well, due to some reason I don't even know for sure, because I was never told, he's gone from Discord, from everything actually. I don't even know where he is, why, or anything like that. And believe me, it hurts. However, this isn't some crazy white knight conspiracy video trying to avenge him. I couldn't, even if I tried, because I don't know what got him in the end, and everything would be entirely speculative. Instead, I want a good video for Woken to be out, instead of focusing on the wrong he's done, this is a full account on just how much he really was a true friend, and a general retrospect on his life, as Woken. I won't try to speculate things I didn't at least hear from him, or from other people. Everything my text-to-speech says is at least true enough to, where things make sense. Logic and Woken were at least friends for a bit. I don't know how long, but it had to have continued sometime in 2020. Though he used to joke about it as a gay relationship, Woken was very much a guy who loved to laugh a lot. He has been in many Discord nukes, or fixings, as we call them, in the past, some because he felt like it, others for really good reasons. A lot of the time, he did so to random Minecraft people in Anarchy servers, and they generally hate mob the crap out of him because of that. Before then, he'd take their loot and troll them, then gain their trust. Sometime, before we first met, he also raided or nuked Edge's servers, and his whole server had been known as the server where you could nuke people. His reputation actually preceded him quite a bit. He also got into some kind of altercation with the YouTuber, and now psychologically insane madman, Filetrex. At the time of me hearing this, we didn't know what to say, but it turned out Woken was one of the very first people to find out Filetrex was full of shit a lot of the time, and since then, they both despised each other, Filet, because some kind of personal info and trust thing, Woken, because Filet's a bit of a stupid jackass. Even before Dream got into that controversy about him modding his own game, he always thought he was overrated and that his fans were pretty cringe. And, of course, the massive elephant in the room, Woken actually found Lisa gaming funny. Believe it or not, he didn't like their Discord one bit, nor how Lisa actually is, but, well, without even knowing it, he didn't mistake the art for the artist and took it for what it was. A huge troll scheme. Never got to hear what he thought about Kieran, but it probably wasn't good. Considering he got caught in a bad troll sending child porn. Dude, you ain't a good troll, no, not even a troll period, if you rely on something so heinously wrong to troll about, and not only that, I don't even know the details of what he did send, so I don't know if it's a Tom R situation or he's actually sitting here sending people real life, non-fictional child porn, because, if so, well, fucking massive run moment dude. But enough ranting about the Kieran network, you want more of that, head to Perlo's channel. He gets into shit with Lace's friends all the time and brings light to a lot of issues. Hey, I think a lot of them could be handled more diplomatically, like finding out the psychological reason behind certain things, but good content is good content. A lot better than watching me. Well, the final thing I know about Loken is he's very much a good role model, despite joking and making shit posts all the time. I found this out, of course, by experience. When I get into a serious issue, such as sadness or struggle, he found massive concern in seeing me, or my pals, not do well. Generally, he also functions on morals, but not ethics. He's okay with a lot of things being done, stuff he doesn't care about, but when it goes out of line, he would let you know immediately. Even if you were his friend. This is all, while he was sleep deprived by the way. And we all know his first time was Darling in the Franks, very good choice. So, I met him in September, when Filet was starting shit with Kaneko, and one of the few times where, well, Filet actually did a good job. The other time was the Lovelist video, it probably being what drove him to immense paranoia, along with that huge thunder cunt Barry Allen. He was really friendly, weird, quirky, but not too out of line. He used to find everything I talked about very interesting, and I get the feeling he wasn't half paying attention like a lot of other people. See, the main group of people I used to talk to were Will, Logic, Matrix, Sober, and Woken, also SM. Eventually, I joined his server and helped out in some of the nukes and made bad jokes. A lot of them just being dumb people. But there were a few times where Woken's server, as a whole, caught a few pedophiles. I happened to be in one of them, and, as awkward as it was, we managed to get in, and even his friends thought Woken was a lot better than him. 
some copycat instances where people in the server really wanted me to give them advice to catfish tabos happened, but, being me, the pressure was too much and I couldn't give good advice. Basically Woken was a vigilante type person, a chaotic good, just like me. See, around this time, Aqua was still a huge part of Chill Place as well as an annoying jerk. But around the time, where I was only starting to realize, I told Master about Woken's adventures, and he did not like them one bit. Seemed like another case of Tano picking bad friends, because I had been known for befriending a lot of people no one exactly liked. As well as them. So, I kinda just went along with the whole Woken hate train, while thinking Woken was actually a cool dude. But once Aqua started being an annoying cunt and Amethyst refused to do anything about it, in fact, even actively shitting on Will wanting to ask people to play him on this, the thing completely flipped. Me and Woken were mostly trying to get some kind of revenge. While this was going on, I got kids from gang chat for being too much for them to handle, and... Get this. Filetrex doxxed himself and went on to blame Sober, when he said his real name. Me, Woken, and Sober got banned, Woken mostly, because he was always on my side, not because he thought Sober was cool or anything. Back it. A triple friendship was formed between us, us who... Thought Filet was a paranoid twat, and me and Woken's voice marks were quite weird but still enjoyable in retrospect. Eventually we did get let back in, only for other people to decide to kick us out again and again until Woken and I got so fed up we decided not to join anymore. Filed later apologized very weakly, but it was an apology, so we took it. Can't be fuzzy about the stuff. Woken was often jokingly very sexual towards me, and even though I found it uncomfy, before I realized what it was, I gotta say, it was unique enough to light up a whole group chat, even if everyone else was somewhere different entirely. At some point, I was giving out the license to my cinematic universe for people to make stuff with, and, Woken, misreading it, asked me, if he could be in the universe. I couldn't really say no, so I adapted a character out of his personality. Woken was already a moderately big fan, even if he had no idea what any of the source material was, and Willow, the character in A Magical Exodus, became his favorite. Oh I quickly had to tell him that certain ships he was thinking about, probably as a joke, were pretty disgusting. He got the memo and, well, oh yeah, he was a pretty big shot factor guy. Videos that turned into something really weird the longer it went on. From mildly odd to, well, stuff I couldn't unsee from how cursed it was. He also, although he wasn't strongly against idiots or Nuna being harassed for no reason like Chill Place and I were, did think Vinks was being a poopy head. And whatever fault supported, he'd be against, because almost every time, the thing he's arguing for isn't that much of a big deal. Of course, not very Allen, though he's still a cunt. But, in between me and him memming around in group chats and voice marks, he ended up completely changing as a person, for the better. He became so much nicer, moved away from anything bad he was doing, and actually spoke really good and logical words of wisdom, even if people didn't want to hear it. He, of course, was still a bit of a prankster and still hated Fault, as he still trolled well a lot. Not to mention he followed the Lord's will to a decent standard. This change was probably what led to Andy, a longtime friend of both of ours, and also a really nice guy, not liking him anymore and ditching him after Woken got to be serious about something. Now, what got everyone hating Woken again was that he defended Shine Fries back when Logic was having a hissy fit with a pretty good argument. He's young and doesn't know many places to relieve himself, so, well, Woken said that they should convince him to focus it somewhere else instead of being really salty about it. I agreed with Woken and made a video, which got dislike bombed by people who really didn't want to hear anything I had to say, because in this era, constructive criticism is dead, and now people think harassment is criticism. Yes I did hold both sides accountable instead of just, well, one side. What rubbed me the wrong way is that he used my points to, instead of actually figuring out a way to improve, get out of all responsibility, and, in a moment of being an awful friend, I hated poor Woken. Of course I said hi to Shine later and asked him if a theory I had was true, and I took it as a yes considering he dodged the question. That was Logic doing this not because he actually cared, but because he criticized total clowns. Eventually, we became friends again just before Train Master made his big debut in a Logic history video. You can literally put the entire movie plot of Captain America, Civil War, replace the government passing a bill with a controversial video, and then I don't even have to explain anything. You all watch Marvel movies XD. Basically, Woken was strong-armed into giving stuff they could use to paint me as an evil person, but eventually he got so sick of them that he barely even talked. 
The effects of the events hit him, just as hard, if not harder, than what happened to me. He would Deutsch Marx me a few times, we'd have fun conversations during this time, agreeing that this whole thing was stupid and a way to avoid all responsibility, as well as having funny conversations. And then he vanished one day. Without a word. He went from being a prankster, to a really considerate and reasonable prankster, to having all traces of them removed. So, I made sure to account for everything, make sure he lives on in the internet, not as some heartless city troll that was a complete nut, but as a truly great person who did bad things, but grew past them. If you want to leave your experience with Woken below, I'd really like it. To unite to admire a lost friend, whether it be to small commentary harassment, or due to him not finding the internet enjoyable anymore. He will always be a fellow Yomi worshipper to the end. And I hope his life is good, and happy from now on. I would be lying, if I said I didn't miss him.